Yo guys, I actually just set up this Windows 10 um, dual boot just here, just to try out Education Edition, since I tried Minecraft EDU in the previous video, I'm going to be trying Education Edition now. So, um, yeah, I ins already installed it. Now, unfortunately, I cannot give a download link to this one because of um, what you'll see in a second. This thing right here. Um, yeah, it actually requires you to sign into a school account. So, giving you a download link would be pretty pointless. Um, however, I will try and crack this. That way, it doesn't actually require this um, in order to work. But at the moment, I can't give you a link. Sorry. Anyway. And here we are. Okay. And I will create a new wall, but I'm actually going to create a new wall again. And we'll generate landing. Gosh, it's here. Alright, and I'm going to put on creative. I'm going to yes say I'll broadcast again. And we'll go this thing, okay? And I'm just going to say, uh, you all. Now, unfortunately, I cannot do like the last time where we had two accounts open, mainly because I only have access to one, um, one dot edu account, so I couldn't really do this twice, unfortunately. But yeah, I have access to one dot edu account, which happens to be considered a teacher because I told it to be considered that. This one will be more useful. But yeah, I'm gonna put this in full screen. And we're going to be able to new stuff. So, in this version, it's basically Windows 10 edition, except slightly different. So, we've got the Ayao blocks, we've got the Nai blocks, and we have the Builder blocks. Okay, now if we paste these down, right, and supposedly there should be some menu like the one we had before. But for this one, I think, no, okay, I don't know where it would be, there might be, but, there might be some menu like one we had before, but I don't know where the hell it would be, um, I could be missing something, maybe I need server stuff or something, but I can't, I could not find a server anywhere. I yoked like all over the website. I just could not find it, so there might be a server on YouTube, but I don't know. I've also got the Nai blocks. Now, these work pretty much the same as they did in Minecraft EDU. Um, students can only pace on these if they have not have an eye out to build, and they can't pace on these. But of course, I'm a teacher, I haven't got teacher privilege, I can, I can pace on these. Um, border blocks. These are just like the borders in the previous ones. Students cannot cross over this, except I'm not a student, so I can, because I'm a teacher. Um, I wish I could really show us off how it's supposed to work, but I, like I said, I don't have access to it. Because they put this annoying as login system into it, which is really kind of annoying. I'm hoping I can crack this at some point and make it say, like, make it get me choose what I want to be. Um, Problem is the CWP, which is really difficult to crack. Um, not impossible, but really difficult. Uh, we've got um, we've got these things here. These are like information blocks. You can write text here. All right, and. Here and and here too. As you can see, you might text and all those. And as well as that, 
they also have, um, I don't exactly remember what else they have, I think they had some, some, some other stuff in here as well. Yes. They've got cameras, and a portfolio. Now, it still looks kind of different, so you can face on camera, but you'll kind of like how we did in Park Edition. And as I shift right click on it, with, a, with my portfolio, it will take a photo. Oh, I don't even have to be right. I only have to be. I only have to actually have to right click. I just need to chase it and then right click it and it will follow me. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's how it works. So I just paste one down and right click it. It will take a photo of me. Interesting. And the photos will be saved in your portfolio and you can caption them. Nothing seems to be there, okay. So we'll click here quickly. Got some sort of new spawn egg. Spawn NPC. Let's try that out. Alright. NPC, um. So okay, and you know. I'm a test certificate. Uh, your, uh, you can even add your oh, that's pretty cool. HTTPS colon slash slash you slash YouTube dot com slash C slash sort of thing. Definitely. And I can even change their appearance. That's pretty cool. We'll admit this is a pretty cool feature. NPCs are nice. And if I open him, yeah, I guess if a student opens him, he can't edit it, but. This is like I said again, this is a teacher account, so I can edit it all I want. Now it should also be noted that there was another app that came with this called Classroom Mode for Minecraft. Now this one here also requires often also requires you to sign in. However, this one is not as strict. You can sign in with your regular Google account. However, it's also pretty useless to do that because you have to sign in for the exact same account you use on your mind or we use with Minecraft EDU. So Minecraft Education Edition, so I basically have to sign in for the same one. Alright, I'll open up this gas room mode thing. Jogging into service. This one's just a Win32 app, so I should be able to um, reverse engineer this so easily. But the things here, I can add service and go to the waiting room, which I'm not entirely sure what this does. You can write this command in here and it will start something. I don't really know what I don't really know what this is used for. But yeah, that's about all I can really find in this version. I'll probably make another video at some point once I learn more about this. But for now, that's about it. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.